Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the cheapest gas prices in your Garmin GPS using your Garmin GPS. Now, in order to do this, you have to have your GPS linked with your smartphone via the Garmin, uh, you know, smart uh, uh, connect app, which, which is also called Garmin Link. So this, uh, let me show you first which app it is, and you need to get that from the App Store. Download it and install it in your smartphone, and only then you will be able to uh, basically uh, take advantage of the cheapest gas price uh, or gas station, cheapest gas prices near you uh, using your Garmin GPS without having to take out your smartphone while you're driving. Okay, so let's get started and see how we do this. The app is called Garmin Drive, and there, there are two apps actually. One is Garmin Drive, this one, which you need to download, and the other one is Garmin Link. Uh, but this is the one that will guide you for the you know best prices of gas and what have you. Once you did that, you have to link your Garmin via Bluetooth. See that? Bluetooth. You have to link it with your uh, smartphone so basically you have to make sure the the smartphone right here is uh, I mean the Bluetooth right here is enabled so it can link with your smartphone all right so once all that is taken care of and it's linked and everything this is how you find the cheapest gas prices near you in order to do that you click on where to now you don't go to categories to choose gas stations instead you scroll down you press the scroll down and here we have fuel prices click on the fuel prices once you click it's going to search and it's going to tell you the prices and the location and how far it is now this one is 0.6 miles and it's five dollars and six cents now it's very important to pay attention how far it is because if that gas station with the cheapest price is very far you will simply burning more gas trying to get a little a few cents cheaper in your gas prices now we live in California so don't be shocked to see these prices this is actually a good deal all of these because California has uh, like additional uh, taxes uh, like uh, road maintenance and what have you taxes on the on the gas prices so if you go down scroll up you see some that are actually very cheap this one is 490 the only problem, it's 2.5 miles away. It's an independent gas station, which is a no-name brand. Now, being a no-name brand gas station does not necessarily mean that the gas is bad. Uh, the thing is that because this may be a small company, this may be a mama and papa store, uh, so you, you get probably the same uh, you know octane rating gas from this than to, from the other ones uh, the thing is the reason why they can afford to be so cheap is because they don't have to pay the royalty for the name brand they don't have to pay the franchise fees they don't have to pay the brand name uh, royalties so having that said doesn't mean their gas is bad the, the only problem is the distance. You're traveling 2.5 miles in order to get to 490. It is worth it if you're filling up your gas, but if you only need a few gallons, then it may not be worth it. So now let's say we decided, okay, we, we are gonna go to this Arco. Uh, now Arco, the good thing about Arco is that Arcos will also have like a little mini mart where you could go get refreshments and what have you. Now, as far as this mama and papa gas stations may have a little boot where you pay and not necessarily a 24 hour mini mart. So those are the things that you need to take in consideration before you choose. The, everyone that says independent is a no name brand. Like this one is independent. This one is independent. Those are all no name brand. Uh, some, if you go uh, like they, they could get, uh, you know, a lot cheaper, uh, but uh, actually, no, it doesn't get any cheaper. This is as, as cheap as it gets, 4.96. Yeah, so 4.96 is as cheap as it gets, and uh, this one is a name brand. It's an Arco, and it's three miles away. 
So this is not bad actually. This is this is a good deal right there. 496 and it's 3.1 miles away. And what once you choose the one you like, you click on it and once you click, you you go there. If you don't want to go there, if you want to see their information to call and and see if they're open and whatnot, then you click on information. Once you click on information, it displays their phone number and it displays displays the last update of the pricing. So this price could have changed. So you could call and uh, and and find out if the price is still valid. Uh, this is the location on the map. And uh, this is uh, something that you could see if, uh, uh, if there is uh, parking available there. Now, if you're going to a gas station, you don't care about parking. So don't even click on that because you're not there to dine in. So parking is not an issue. But if, you, if this was some other business and you wanted to see, this is the button you press to see if there is parking available. So if you want to go there with no questions, you click on go and the unit will start calculating your route. Of course, once it has satellite reception. Now, this is only possible if you link your GPS with your phone. If your phone is not linked with your GPS with the Garmin uh, link software or Garmin drive software, then this is not possible because the GPS has to have connection with the smartphone. Okay, I hope this was educational and you learned a, a thing or two from this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.